Hello happy crocheters, this is Lindsay from windingroadcrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this really pretty striped afghan. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm going to be showing you how to make this blanket using a small sample. This is a very easy blanket to adjust. In this blanket, we've worked lots of different colors and stripes. But because we use something called the tri-color method, we only worked with three colors at a time, we actually don't have that many yarn ends left over. So all my yarn ends are still attached. And when I finished this blanket, I only had 16 yarn ends for the entire blanket. So it's really a fun method to use when you want to use a lot of color. For this project, I am using five colors. I have a gold, blue, green, and purple, and I did use three skeins of the white and only one skein of the other colors for a baby blanket size. I am using the Karen Simply Soft, which is a size four yarn. I designed this blanket to match the artwork of a children's book my cousin is writing. This book is a Kickstarter project, and if you would like to learn more about it, you can check out the link above or the link in the description box. For this project, I'm using a size H or five millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need yarn needle and scissors. Let's go ahead and get started. Start by making a slip knot with the color that you want to use throughout the entire project. I used white for this. Then we are going to chain 127 for a 40 inch by 47 inch size blanket. So our first row should be 40 inches wide. You can easily adjust this blanket by adding or subtracting as many chain as you like. Once you've completed your chain, we are going to half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. I'm going to work in the back bumps, but you're welcome to work into your chain however you like. We are going to place a border around this, so what it looks like is not important. Now we are going to work a half double crochet in every chain across. When you reach the end of the row, we are going to change colors. We are going to change colors at the end of every row. I am going to begin to make my half double crochet, but for the very last yarn over of the stitch, I am going to yarn over with my green yarn. Before we continue, I want to show you how this blanket has worked. This blanket is worked in four parts. Part one, we are going to be using the white, the green, and the gold. Then we're going to do the exact same thing we did in part one, but in part two, we'll use white, green, and purple. We will continue changing the colors we're working with for every quarter of the blanket. So back to our blanket, we changed our colors to green, and now I'm just going to chain two. We're gonna be working half double crochets for this blanket, but we are working them slightly different. What we're gonna do is work a half double crochet in between the post. So if you look at your stitch, you have your back loop and your front loop, and then you have this horizontal loop right here that my hook is under. When we work our half double crochet, we are gonna go under all three of those loops. So to see that again, when you normally half double crochet, you would just go under your front loop and your back loop. But this time we are also going to go under this front middle bar that is on the front of our work. So you wanna go under here and you should have three strands of yarn above your hook. That's how you know you're doing it right. So you wanna go in between the stitches underneath all the loops at the top under those three loops. The reason for doing this is it's gonna give us a very uniform look on the front and the back of our work. It also makes the stitches overlap a little bit and gives them this kind of hashed texture that I was trying to look for from that piece of artwork that inspired the blanket. So again, I am going to just half double crochet in between the posts all the way across using the green yarn. 
when I reach the end of the row, my very last stitch should be between the last stitch and the turning chain. So that's how we finish this row, but of course, as I told you, we are going to change colors at the end of every row. So once again, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then I'm going to add my third color. In this case, it's going to be yellow or gold. So we're going to pull that through all the three loops on our hook. We are going to turn and chain two. And then repeat working half double crochets in between the posts under that horizontal bar in every stitch all the way across our project. Now that we have our three colors attached, I will show you the tricolor method to reduce the number of yarn ends you're going to have for this project. So here's where the fun trick happens. Now that we have our three colors, I'm going to change my color back to my white yarn. So the nice thing is because we dropped that yarn and we did not fasten off, that yarn is waiting for us on this side of our work. So I'm just going to gently pull it up and change colors to the white yarn. What we are doing is carrying the yarn up the side of our work. So you want to make sure you don't pull too tight and scrunch the edge of your blanket. We're going to chain two and turn our work and just continue that one row repeat with the new color. When you reach the end of row four, now we need to change to our green yarn. And if you look at that side of our project, my green yarn is right there waiting for me. So because we work with three colors, you should always have a yarn end on the edge of your project waiting for you to pick it up and continue with that color. So now what you wanna do is continue working with the white, the green, and the gold until your project is about one fourth of the way done. For the 40 inch by 47 inch blanket that I am making as a sample, I worked a total of 37 rows for part one. Of course, you don't have to do this in four parts. You could do it in three parts and work one third of your project in the first color combination. But since I am using four color combinations, I will continue crocheting until my sample is one fourth of the way done. And I will show you just one more time when I reach the end of my green row, you know that we're going to pick up the yellow yarn. And once again, it is already sitting there waiting for me at the end of my row. So you are working with three yarns at the same time, coming from three different skeins. So you do want to be a little conscious. They could get tangled up a little bit, but because we're only doing this for one fourth of the blanket. So when we do work, move on to part two, you can always clip one yarn and untangle everything a little bit at that point and then move forward. So I have finished part one, which is the first six rows of this project. For the white row, I actually began part two, but I didn't have to worry about changing anything for that part two until we reached that gold, next gold row because we're no longer using the gold. Instead, we are going to change over to purple. So I'm at the very end of my green row. Again, this is the second row for part two. I've grabbed my purple yarn instead of my gold yarn and I'm just going to change over to my gold yarn. At this point, you would have fastened off your gold yarn, and if you'd like, you can untangle anything that's become tangled, and then you can move on using your purple yarn. 
and we are just doing the exact same thing we did for part one. We are half double crocheting between the posts and we are alternating colors every row. And because of the tricolor method, we are going to have a yarn end waiting for us at the end of every row, all ready to be picked up and used for the next row. So I'm just going to finish part two using the white, the green, and the purple. Here I have completed part two of my blanket. My sample piece is halfway completed for your project if you're making the same size blanket that I made. You should have a total of 73 rows at this point. Here I am going to complete my white row. I designed the pattern so that every section should end in a white row. In this case, this is where we are going to change over to our blue yarn. Normally this would be the green yarn, but at this point you could clip off the green yarn and we're changing over to start using the blue yarn. I used the green for the bottom because it looked like the grass in the picture and the blue for the top half of the section because that was the sky. So I am just going to half double crochet between the posts of every stitch across, working this time with the white, the blue, and the purple yarn for part three of my blanket. For the 40 inch by 47 inch size blanket, you would continue working with the purple, the white, and the blue until you have a total of 109 rows. Here I've completed three parts of my sample piece. Your blanket should be about three quarters of the way done. For the blanket size, for the large baby blanket size or small throw size that we are making, at this point you would have completed 109 rows. Now I'm just going to finish this row and change to the new color. We are going to be dropping the purple and picking up the gold. Now because I didn't want to clip any of my yarns in this little sample piece, I am pulling the gold up from where we had it at the bottom. I do recommend that you would have clipped it at the bottom and that you would just add a new strand here. But again, now we are going to be working with the blue, the gold, and the white for the top quarter of the blanket and you are just going to half double crochet in between the posts of every stitch across, just like we've done for the other parts. You wanna continue working this part until you have a total of 145 rows or until your blanket is as long as you would like it to be. So I'm finishing up my very last row. I want to finish with the color we've carried throughout the entire project. In my case, this is white. You can see we have part one, part two, part three, and part four. They're all just one quarter of the blanket. And now what we want to do is add a border. So to do this, I am going to chain one and I am going to single crochet into the side of every stitch along this project. Normally I would work a different number of stitches because these are half double crochets. But since we worked half double crochets between the posts, I find crocheting loosely and working one single crochet into the side of each row works perfectly. As you work your single crochets, make sure to work around the yarns that we carried up the side of the row. This will help hide them. Continue working a single crochet into the side of every stitch until you reach the bottom of your blanket. When you reach your bottom corner, we are going to chain two and turn the corner. Now we are going to work a single crochet into the opposite side of every turning chain. So I am just going to push my hook through the bottom side of every turning chain and work a one single crochet. 
Continue single crocheting along the bottom of your piece until you reach your next corner. When you reach the next corner, we are going to chain two again. And once again, we're going to work one loose single crochet into the side of every stitch. If you find crocheting loosely really difficult, you can consider using one size larger crochet hook for this row of the pattern. But I find just a slightly loose single crochet works very well working up the side of this project. Make sure to remember to trap the yarns that we carried up the side of the project. When you reach your top corner, we are going to chain two and rotate so that we are working around the corner. And now we are going to single crochet in the top of every stitch of row 145 or whatever number was the last row that you worked. We will continue single crocheting until we get to the very beginning of this border row. Once we've made it all the way across the top of our blanket, all we need to do is chain two for the last corner. So one and two and slip stitch to the very first single crochet. Now we're ready to begin the second row for our border and the last row for your project. We will begin by chaining one and half double crocheting into the same stitch that we slip stitched to. Then we are going to half double crochet in every stitch along this side of the blanket until we reach our next corner. So just work one half double crochet in every stitch across. When we reach the next corner, we are going to work a half double crochet into the chain two corner space. We are going to chain two and work another half double crochet into that chain two corner space. Now we are just going to half double crochet in every stitch until we reach our next corner. When you reach your next corner, we are going to do the same thing. We're going to half double crochet into the chain two corner space. We're going to chain two. Then we're going to half double crochet into that chain two corner space again. Now just repeat the process. You're going to half double crochet into every stitch across until you reach the corner. In your corner, you're going to half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet, and then half double crochet across the top of our project as well. When you reach your very last corner, now we are going to work the corner one more time into the chain two space, make a half double crochet, chain two, and half double crochet into the same chain two space. To finish off, we are going to slip stitch to the very first half double crochet of the project. And now you can fasten off your yarn and you can weave in all your yarn ends. And then you will have your finished project. I really think using this method would be great for using up scrap yarn as you can just change colors whenever you run out of yarn. And it has so few yarn ends. As I said, my large blanket only had 16 yarn ends for all this beautiful color that's worked into it. So I hope you enjoyed the video tutorial. I hope you like this striped blanket and the tricolor method. And as always, thank you so much for watching.